Okay, let's take a look at the limit as x approaches 0 of cotangent x minus 1 over x. Um, <clears throat> first of all, you, you can't take the limit of this as it appears, so we're going to go ahead and take uh, combine these two fractions and find a common denominator, which would be, well, first thing we're going to do is write cosine x over sine of x, and we're going to come up with that. So we end up with x cosine of x minus sine of x over x sine of x. And then we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to use the product rule and end up with this right there. So we end up with um, cosine of x plus a negative x sine of x minus cosine of x. And you'll notice that the cosine of x minus cosine of x on the numerator cancels out. And so you're left with this. And on the denominator, when you take the product rule, oh, we've already taken the product rule at the bottom. So the next step we're going to do is um, we're going to divide both the numerator and the, and the denominator by 1 over x because that will get us to the sine of x over x, which will help us to get the zero out of the denominator. So, oh, well, the first thing I did was factor a negative one out. Okay, so we factor the negative one out. And here we're going to divide by 1x over 1x for the numerator and the denominator. Distribute it in. And notice on the numerator that the x and the x will cancel out, and you're just left with negative 1 times the sine of x on the top. And now we can apply the limit. But on the denominator, you'll notice that we have sine of x over x plus and the x's cancel out on the second term and the, and the denominator. And so you get cosine of x. And now we can just straight plug in the limit as x approaches 0. So you have sine of 0 on top times the negative 1. And then remember the limit of sine of x over x equals 1. So we plug in that 1. Plug in the 0 for cosine in, in, the, in the denominator. And we end up with negative 1 times 0. And we have 1 plus 1 on the bottom, which gives us our final answer of 0. Okay.